Hi, my name is Sabrina Deturk, and I'll be writing the catalog essay for the um, Printmaking 2.0 exhibition. So what we wanted to do with this video is that we realized that some of the slide images and the, the pieces that are uploaded to the web in the two-dimensional format just really don't capture some of the subtleties of the works that we're showing. So we took some of the work that we think is perhaps the hardest to capture in that form um, and decided to create some short vignettes to explain a little bit more about the process and to also give you a more close-up view um, of some of the subtleties of what's going on in the pieces. So hopefully this will be helpful um, in evaluating the work and getting a better sense of the multiple processes that are being used in the show. Two of the artists in the show actually use a combination of techniques that involves both the digital process and then a traditional etching with shinkoe as well. So one of those artists is William Smith and his piece is here. Um, the background of the image is the traditional etching with three plates being used to achieve the, the colors there. And then right in the center, you'll see this little circular area. Um, that's actually a digital print on rice paper. It's a monochromatic print um, that was taken from a book and scanned in. Um, that's one of the things that Will Smith likes to work with in, um, in his pieces and many of his pieces. And then put in with the rest of the image, again, as part of the traditional etching process. So it um, allows to achieve a, both a combination of media and also to get that very fine detail in from the, the digital print and the scanned image. The other artist who uses a similar process is Kate Abercrombie, and this is her piece here. Um, this was actually printed for one of the fundraising um, portfolios that's done by Philographica, and again, it's a combination from Cindy Ettinger's um, studio and Silicon Gallery. So Cindy's uh, part of this was the very fine kind of brownish um, etching that is the, the kind of detailed work with the flowers and so on. And what she and Kate wanted to be able to do was to create this really vivid four color image. And in a traditional etching process, that would have been just extraordinarily time, time consuming, expensive to do that many plates. So what they decided to do was to work with silicon and using this kind of a rice paper surface like this, um, they used that to print the four colors and then shinkolate it with the etching to get this final image. So it's very hard to tell, and one of the reasons we wanted to show this in the video is it's very hard to tell from just the two-dimensional slide um, how this is built up, but in fact it's a, a fairly complicated um, piece that probably couldn't have been realized without the combination of both the digital and the etching process. Another piece that uses a really interesting combination of techniques is this work by Virgil Marty. So here what we're combining is the use of digital to get these very bright um, flower and the, the leaf image here that are scanned images that were then printed digitally. And then the other technique that's being used is this embossment for all of the um, kind of more white areas with a little bit of shading to them. So one of the things that was quite interesting and a little bit complicated in producing this work is that after the digital print was done, which was the first piece that put the flowers on, um, then it had to be run through to do the embossment. And it was a little tricky to make sure that in that process that nothing would happen to mar the digital inks um, and to, to sort of mess up um, what had already been done digitally. But as you can see, the result, again, is a somewhat subtle image but when you look at it um, sort of from side to side to pick up the, the detail of the embossment or then from the reverse of the image where you can really see um, where the, the sort of impression was made on the paper, it's an extraordinarily nuanced um, and incredibly beautiful work um, that was, was produced again with the combination of, of these two traditional and digital techniques. Uh, this next piece is by the artist Kenny Sharp, and it's possibly one of the um, simplest works that we have in the show in terms of the techniques that were used to create it. The background image is a digital print that was done from one of um, Kenny's paintings that was scanned in and then printed digitally. And if you can see as I'm slightly rotating the image, there's a really thin and pretty subtle um, sort of veneer of sparkles that's been put onto the purple part of the image to kind of pick up the contours. And those were silk screened on, so that's the secondary process that was used in addition to the digital printmaking. 
Again, it's a, a pretty subtle piece, um, but certainly taking advantage of both the digital and traditional um, printmaking techniques.